Hey guys. I thought I'd do another quick video showing the practical application of two important farming techniques using the bot concept in or rail cart assembler concept in with create. Um, here I'm I have the general farm and a speciality farm running side by side. One is feeding it one is um, creating bone meal from its product and feeding you can see it here, feeding the other one the bone meal to produce the output. Um, this is relatively small scale. You could easily scale this up by making them longer. Um, I'll quit, I have a quick rundown of what I got here. So this is this is very standard. We have our bone meal generator with our hoppers. And feeding this pivot bot, Chai. I think it's actually important in this case because you need this water run to capture the output, um, and that's going to get quite expensive. Uh, so. So this works quite well. Um, you can attach a harvester as well, but you'd then need to use this here with a um, in interface, a portable interface, to capture all of the output. I'm using some switches here to keep certain things or not. It feeds its I'm getting some um, seeds which I can turn into compost and feed back into my bone meal. I've got the bone meal here set to output only five at a time. Um, that so uh, it covers the whole uh, plantation. Um, if you made it bigger, you'd want to change that number. You'd also need to play with the water runs and hopper placements. I had to put these blocks here specifically, that's the cobblestone, to get the water to flow exactly into only four hoppers, otherwise I was having hoppers everywhere, and things getting caught in little cycles. Yeah, so they're working very nicely. Tandem? You could, um, of course, grow the product here and only output the waste, the seeds, or whatever you don't want to to bone meal. That would make this slower, of course, but save space. I think they're fairly efficient. There, perhaps there is some empty space here, but you could fill that with other things, perhaps. I, I like having workplace health and safety to block spacing around things anyway. It makes working these things a lot easier. Well, I think I've covered everything. Thanks for watching.